you need something. Do you need something? I can call the police and have you trespassed right now. I know some bitches in Cali. They all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas. They all be showing affection. What's up, you guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, do yourself a favor. Subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Come join the team because we get in over here all right today's video I know I'm late to it but if you guys have not already seen there's a viral video on TikTok. this girl thinking she the baddest in the world right needs to humble herself claims that this dude is acting like a perv you know because he's staring at her you know saying oh damn like watch this video trainer gets caught on camera being a pervert and when I stand up for myself he threatens to call the police and revoke my membership Do you need something? Do you need something? Okay, I thought so. Are you okay? Keep the question. If you're getting rude, you can leave. Nobody is looking at you any type of way. I don't own the gym, I work here. Yes. And if you're getting rude, then you can leave. I can call the police and have you trespassed right now. Would you like to? Okay, go ahead. Okay, cool. Go ahead, let them know. That's what we'll do. So right now, I'm just going to take your stuff and head up front. All right, she said you can do something. We got other in the middle of the room. I'm speechless. First of all, baby, nobody wants you. Nobody wants you. The whole reason you popped up the camera, start jiggling a little bit. Baby, it don't jiggle, jiggle, it fold. Cause that thing look flat, I'm not gonna lie. Only thing was the thighs, that's it. But other than that, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see the back, it ain't about that. The whole point is, she's probably used to dudes looking at her because, you know, she's you know taking off her top and jiggling, trying to get attention. This was like a whole setup. That's what this is. The dude over there, I guess he's not even a trainer, right? He's part owner or has some affiliation with the gym. He works at the gym, okay? Doesn't matter either way. He did not say, oh damn. The dude sitting down working out, looking at her, you know, because I don't know, it's a normal thing to do in the gym. Look at other people. You're in a public space. Not only that, you think you attractive, he might've thought you was attractive. Who knows? So maybe he glanced your way, admiring your beauty that you think that you have because apparently you thought the other dude was harassing you. Which, in reality, she slowed the whole video down. She slowed it down, zoomed in, did all this extra editing. You edit her down? She downloaded a W Premiere and started going crazy. You know what I'm saying? Look, he didn't say, oh damn. Look at his lips. Should've blurred the lips at this point. Cause that's what caught you up in the lie. You slowed it down 10 speed, right? This dude over here having a conversation, mid conversation with old boy. Maybe old boy wasn't even admiring you. Maybe he was like, look at this girl trying to be all extra doing the most jiggling something that she ain't even got. Even if you do got something, it's just, you're being extra with it. You ain't gotta show out like that. Just be natural, be cool, chill. So he looked over, he's like, oh, talking about whatever he's talking about. Oh, so yeah, next week I'm gonna work out uh, triceps, da, da, da. oh my gosh, what is she doing? She's doing the most. And then old girl like, hey, excuse me. I know I'm the baddest. I know you looking at my fatty. A lot of women need humbling. And, and, and the problem with this is that not only is he being falsely accused, this is a bad representation moving forward for other women who are actually being harassed in the gym or being, you know, creeped on by dudes that are just staring and all up in the ear, not letting them, you know, have their space, not leaving them alone. Like real harassment. This was a simple glance, slowed down. So it was probably half a second. You know what I'm saying? It was like this. But she's on uh, Can I help you? Can I help? Can I help you, baby? Cause you clearly need attention. You clearly craving that attention that you don't get from a man at home. She ain't got no man. She don't. If she do, I feel sorry for her. You know what I'm saying? Cause brother, your girl is starving. She out starving for attention. Like it's one thing to do this and you're not recording, but you're recording this. You're recording and looking for something. You know what I mean? You could have let that easily go. You had subtitles and captions and stuff. Come on now. I just, it frustrates me. I wanna know what you guys think. 
Because for me, it's like, I don't feel comfortable being in a public space and just looking at anyone of the opposite sex at this point. I already felt uncomfortable because of people doing these types of videos before, but now, you know, it's, it's heightened. And, and girls are going over the top with it and captions of words you didn't even say. He's captioning his thoughts. She's acting like she's reading his mind. So if I look at a girl's direction, just, oh my God. Stop it right now. What if I thought what you had on is nice? What if I thought you had a nice body type? And I glanced real quick, looked away. No, 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 weird stuff. Just, you know what I'm saying? You're at the gym working out for what? A nice body. I could appreciate your body without making it weird or, or over the top or being aggressive with it. Just like a guy works out. You know how many girls would be like, oh my God, he's so attractive or touches, touches on guys' bodies without them asking and stuff. All right, hey, guys ain't even doing all that. He didn't do none of that. He just merely looked your way in your direction, in your vicinity. And now we are labeled as you know creeps and stuff just because we are admiring what you've been working on. And this is for the dudes that are actually admiring and not doing it in no creepy, over the top sexual way. And you know what I mean? Literally just appreciating the work of art that you built. You know, all them hours in the gym, okay? We see you. That's it. We ain't pressing up on you. Hey, come here, girl. I like what I see. <laughs> None of that. None of that. So stop jumping to conclusions. Stop making up scenarios in your mind. Stop it. You're playing yourself. You're trying to play them, but you're playing yourself. And then she put her account on private, as she should, because she knew she was in the wrong. She knew how this looked. Come on now, we gotta do better. Ladies, we gotta do better. This man luckily has the entire internet backing him because apparently he has a whole, you know, wife and kids and he, you know, the job at the gym and all of this stuff. This is defamation. This is making him look like something that he is not. And the fact that she came up to him and was like, oh, do you own the gym? He don't gotta own the gym. Do you own the gym? You over here saying, move along and this and that. You don't own nothing. It's not even freedom of speech, it's freedom of just being able to look where you want. He wasn't looking for an extensive period of time either. It was probably at most two seconds before you said something. So he was probably in the middle of turn back around. Didn't impress you, didn't shout at you, holler at you, no obscenities. Where does this audacity come from? Women needing attention, women craving attention. Stop giving these women attention. This is why I don't look nowhere. I, I just mind my business. Let them come to you, fellas. Let them come to you. Let them realize your worth. Let them beg and crave for your attention because they need it. Because the second you look their way, this is what they doing now. So we gotta move differently. We gotta be militant. We gotta really buckle down and double down on not looking, on falling back, on letting them come to us. Because you know, we out here, we working now. You know, we got our headphones on, we laser in, focus, we looking in the mirror at ourselves, and she just over there jiggling, jiggling, jiggling. And we blocked it out! I ain't got time for that. We got goals to achieve. So, what is she gonna do? She probably gonna move a little closer, move a little closer, start jiggling right in front of you. And then after that, are you looking at me? Keep in mind, she was damn near in the old boy's eyesight. Both of them. I don't know, man. It's just stressing me out. It's just, focus on your damn self, y'all. And, and women, please, just stop assuming every man wants to get in your pants. You know what I'm saying? If a man does want to get in your pants, so be it. You have the right to be like, no. If he approaches you properly and in a respectful manner, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? Obviously, there's the opposite side where it's just not okay and you're doing too much and you're being weird and you just need to fall back completely and those dudes should be, you know, thrown out or whatever. We know that, but you can't just be out here making these bold assumptions, adding captions, and zooming it. It's just, I don't know, let me know your guys' thoughts. I could keep going on and on about this, but it's just gonna be me talking in circles. Um, do you, watch out for women like this, and you know, don't overreact. If this happens to you, and a woman's like, why are you in Just be like, I'm minding my business. Thank you. Move along. <laughs> you feel me? Anyways. Uh, yeah, that is it for the video for today. If you guys liked it, please do me a favor. Hit that thumbs up button down below. Also down below, download Winning with Women. Copy some Cancel the Wedding Drip at CancelTheWedding.com. Copy some Magnetic Cologne at MagneticByMystic.com. And until next time.
focus on you and the women will too. I know some booties in Cali, they all be calling me daddy. I know some hoes out in Texas, they all be showing affection.